Hey guys, welcome back to Kenna's World or KennaHardian.com. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for my third book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a wonderfully delightful book by L.M. Montgomery, the author of the Anne of Green Gables series. This book is called Jane of Lantern Hill, and it's actually one of my favorites. I liked it better than the Anne of Green Gables series. Um couple right off the bat I'm gonna say it was super clean it was just really this book reminds me of like a summer breeze and it just leaves you feeling happy and like God is good and that you want to serve the world <laughs> and do kind things for others um the story is really interesting and it keeps you enraptured throughout the whole uh, uh, whole of the book and um, I'm going to read you the back cover because that's my surest way of making sure I reveal no spoilers. The happiest summer of her life, her whole life, Jane had believed her father was dead. It was, therefore, quite a shock to receive an invitation to stay with him for the summer on Prince Edward Island. From their very first meeting, Jane falls in love with her charming father and his whimsical cottage on Lantern Hill. A whole summer of fun and adventure, meeting neighbors and making friends, far away from her grandmother's dreary house in the city. If only she could get her mother to come too. As Jane juggles her love and loyalty for both parents, she dares to dream. A dream that she and her parents could live together without grandmother directing their lives. Of a house where they could all find home. Sounds like a really interesting story, doesn't it? It is. You should read it. <laughs> a couple comments in the book that parents might want to consider before letting younger kids read it is that in the beginning Jane doesn't like reading the Bible and she mentions a that and she says that God is no good. Fortunately, this gets remedied in the book where she is taught to love the Bible and that it's full of truth and beauty and wonder and wisdom and she is and she ends up apologizing to God or says that she should apologize to God after she says her God is no good comment because she realizes that even though God didn't answer the prayer she prayed the way he wanted him to, it was better for her. Uh, it was better for her to go to Prince Edward Island than stay home. So that does get remedied. Other things you might want to consider are other things you would want to have you would want to have a conversation with your kids about is that the slang term Jewing is used. It's not used in a derogatory or like a um racist way. It's just a way people spoke back then and it's only used like twice. But you may want to explain to your younger child that that is not a proper term <laughs> to use. You might have to explain to your child some of the really big words in the book, like indefagdidable. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. There is one mention of someone smoking a pipe. It's in there once. Uh, Jane's mother and father are not divorced, but neither do they live together. Um, and so Jane does have to work through that. Her grandmother, and Aunt Gertrude, like her life at her grandmother's house is kind of dreary and sad and she's frightened because her grandmother um is slightly abusive in terms of words and stuff it's not actually said that she is but you can kind of in infer that um you might want to some younger kids might not understand some of the concepts in the book um but honestly this book I think is good for young kids you might have to read it aloud to them because I don't know if they'd be able to read through it but for younger kids up to any age. So this is just a really good book. It's a good family read aloud for kids of all ages. I loved it. I recommend it. I think I said this before, but to me, it's like a warm summer's breeze after the cold of winter. So I guess it would be a spring breeze, but it's like after the cold of winter and you can just joyfully read this book and end it happily and just feel with Jane the entire way through. She is a wonderful protagonist, and I just loved this book. It was delightful. It's a good word to describe it. Thank you for watching my third book review. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, if you have any uh, 
books you would like me to review next, or even if you just, or even if you read the book, I'd love to hear about it. So comment below. I'd also appreciate it if you would share my videos. Um, I'm trying to help people to know about clean, good, god ordinary books for them to read. And I'd also appreciate it if you'd like this video uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, fellow bookworms. Bye!